Mexico, and Colombia, um, and the Philippines, you find uh, in Cambodia and Thailand that probably 70% of all the clients are local clients, which pay very little money to go to brothels. But then the other 30% consists on sex tourism. And sex tourism is the one that is putting the real money into this industry. Because they are ordering certain kind of girls or boys in many, many cases. And they usually ask for younger women, which is a new phenomenon that we have to discuss. Anytime anybody tells you, oh no, but all prostitutes are there because they like it, and you know, well, you send them to a brothel for a week and then we'll talk. So, uh, you, you know, they, the thing is, these guys are, are ordering, pre ordering the internet certain kind of girls or boys. And most of them are ordering virgins. And in these cases, you have more and more men, and in some, some cases, women, but most of the clients are men, ordering teenagers and younger, and there's a reason there, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it short, but I have to say this. There is a very important reason, and things have changed in the sex marketing in the last 10 years. One thing is AIDS, as we know, HIV AIDS, of course, but the other thing is, as, as young women have more information, they do know their rights, and they do know they have sexual rights and the, the right to to have a sexual life, an open sexual life, and um, an erotic life. But then, uh, to these clients, what they want is submission. They want to control not only the body, but also the emotions uh, and the decisions in this so-called relationship that is a power relationship. The sex industry is based on the difference of power between the client and the object which is a human being, but it's sold as an object. So we have to start discussing this, because most of the clients that are giving most of the money to this industry are men that are educated, that have money to travel around the world, they, that can pay up to from $300 to $3,000 for one sexual encounter, depending on the girl or the boy they order. In, in cases as, as the Arab Emirates, which is something that we I mean, I urge everyone to study the Arab Emirates because we're, it's going to explode in our faces in some years. Uh, they are just buying slaves from all over the world, from Kyrgyzstan, from, from mainly in Central Asia, but anywhere else in Africa too, because they need those, that kind of slaves. They need um, nurses to, to take care of the elderly and, uh, because they are so rich now, right? There's so much money in the Arab Emirates. Now they need slaves. They don't want to slave their own, so they will slave the others. And the others are usually the poor ones, children and women.